<laughs> well, thanks for visiting us this morning at arcletexhomepage.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Morses, and this is your Wednesday morning forecast update. Big weather change for us today as it will feel like a winter day so i'll have an update on that we have some great weather on the way for the weekend you'll want to see that update uh, and can push 80 degrees again by early next week so we are definitely on that fall temperature roller coaster that uh, has those big dips and uh, kind of turns with it but uh, that's what we'll be feeling for the next week or so today will, will be the cold days you're uh, going to have temperatures this morning 40s and low 50s and we probably will not warm up at all today uh, since we do have a cold front on the way and that's already bringing uh, quite a bit of rain especially across the northern Arkletex and the front will be moving north to south today so if you're not seeing the rain uh, early this morning give it a few hours eventually the rain will get to you this afternoon high chance that we see some showers and a few embedded thunderstorms today but uh, happy to say we are not in the severe weather outlook so we are not expecting any severe weather but this area of low pressure moving out of the Rockies that's what's going to nudge all the rainfall through today and we should begin to see the rain wrap up later tonight before the morning commute uh, at least the early morning commute most of the rain will be along I-30 uh, the main morning commute that takes place Place here between I would say 7 and 9 o'clock we'll probably see uh, some of this rain down towards I-20 and uh, again through the afternoon the rain will continue to push south and out of the region uh, notice your temperatures this morning 40s and low 50s we'll uh, show you the winds which will be out of the northeast at about 10 miles per hour so that's pushing some of that chilly air into the region so I don't expect we'll warm up at all today maybe two to three degrees if that so a uh, high today of 49 in Texarkana 54 in Shreveport so these uh, readings would be about 20 20 to 25 degrees below average for the date uh, so definitely feeling more like a winter day than a fall day so make sure you have a jacket and a, an umbrella as well as the rain will likely be around through the early afternoon you can see the front pushing south through the morning so that will carry most of the rain down towards i-20 by the late morning and early afternoon and future cast uh, pretty optimistic the rain will come to an end this afternoon along i-30 but we'll probably be dealing with a few of these lingering showers in Shreveport through sunset tonight and the rain uh, kind of wrapping up tonight you can see the sun coming back uh, for most of us tomorrow but I still think we'll see quite a few clouds linger but uh, you can see all the sunshine coming back by Friday we should definitely start to warm things back up uh, Friday and through the weekend and then we'll push uh, 80 degrees early next week so look at the rainfall totals honestly wish we can see a little more rain with this front we're showing maybe half an inch uh, to maybe quarter of an inch in most locations we need a little more than that to maybe put a dent in drought conditions and we'll kind of dry out here and through at least the middle of next week but we do have some rain in the forecast late next week as well but uh, the cold air not just limited to the days the overnights will be pretty cold here for the next few nights as we'll be in the 30s and low 40s tonight everybody should be above freezing tonight but we'll have to watch uh, Friday morning here as your temperatures will be in the uh, again 30s early uh, in the morning both Friday as well as Saturday it's possible Friday morning we may see a brief freeze across the northern Arklatex right now uh, something that we will be watching for you but you can see all the sun back out this weekend we're in the mid 70s again by Sunday and pushing 80 degrees by next Monday and Tuesday